good morning and welcome to my magical world if you are new here um i'd like to introduce myself i am frostbite and what i do here is i basically discuss things you know i read stuff and um sometimes i update my life here but overall this is my life's journey <laughs> so uh yeah guys um if you wanted to hear just you know hear it if you don't want and uh, go go scroll other videos okay so currently it's 11 uh 16 in the morning and uh today is december uh 14 2021 so you know i am kind of like tracking things in my life and i have to film it and film this because i have been long gone <laughs> okay so uh yeah so today um we're going to talk about arcturians okay arcturians i'm not sure how to pronounce this but uh this is uh something that um you know you don't have to believe in these things but um for those who believe in these things you might want to hear this okay so um soul groups and the origin of the soul the arcturians arcturians sorry so here are the traits and characteristics of the soul group from arcturus positive and dysfunctional aspects so have you ever wondered why we are so different from one another why are why are our personal characteristics habits taste and the way we think are our qualities so unique and distinctive so because of, so because of our soul is unique and distinctive souls are like fingerprints no two souls are the same so why our energy centers the place of origination of our soul the experiences in the different lifetimes and the karmic patterns we keep generating uh, influence greatly how our soul behaves so hmm Things like star seeds and all of this, this is somewhat related to that, guys. So, if you are one, you know, if you think you are one of them, so you might want to hear this. Um, when we wake up in the sand, we realize we are not people from planet Earth, but souls coming from far away, from different planets, like star seeds, temporary temporarily reincarnated in this uh, earth realm so, okay so there are many different star seed group soul groups and each of each one of them holds very specific characteristics and traits the pleiadians the arcturians the souls from the mars and the syrians the souls from nile the alpha centaurians the blueprinters the minta min the mintakans and the souls from hador are the most common and famous one so i think there are other also um different star seed soul group but uh those i'm not familiar with but here are some of the most popular so after our soul is created it leaves almost immediately to join the soul group of origination which is the place the soul spends most of its time in with the group of souls it belongs so if you felt like if you are feeling like me <laughs> i mean because guys i've been told you you know like i am not you know when the feeling is you you do not belong here something like that so ever since uh, i think before my i um i can say spiritual awakening i was like you know in a very uh, dark place so yeah but i always know i have something i have a thing and i have uh, this kind of like mission to do here which is i don't understand by that time of course you cannot understand by the time when you are not ready to comprehend on things it doesn't come like on um on the first day not even a day not even a month or uh sometimes it's years and for me it's years it's it's hard to understand but things have been like that ever since so um, i'm just 
you know, so different from the rest. Even my family. So, yeah. Uh, let's discuss thoroughly, okay? So, the, here are the characteristic and traits of the Acturians. The Acturians cr come from Arcturus, an orange star in the constellation of Boots. I'm not sure if uh, I pronounce it correctly. So, which is located in the northern hemisphere and containing one of the brightest stars in the night sky. So are very often highly conscious individuals holding spiritual wisdom within their uh, being. They, they are those people that always have plenty of insights to share on the deepest level. Um, they are also fairly quiet individuals who like to remain in the background. Um, they are very loving, peaceful, and understanding. They can be extremely sensitive uh, as well so before guys I am not like aware because I think like I am like overdoing things but now I think I am extremely sensitive because I can feel people already and it's so annoying if it's like that it's like I know I know when I see you and more so when you even start opening your mouth so, like that. So, you know, I can't be um, in a lot of people <laughs> because I can feel them. So, their emotions, all of their, uh, it's like, I don't, uh, I don't want to explain that, but yeah. And those examples. So, um, they are, um, they so they are often drawn to the study of metaphysics, spirituality, sacred geometry, astronomy, and quantum physics where their natural wisdom is highly appreciated. They can appear mysterious because they tend to be cautious about who they allow into their personal space. So this is so me. This is so me. Exactly. I'm not saying that I'm Art Arcturian, okay? But some of the traits here, uh, I can say that it's, it's more like me. Um, next is Arcturians reincarnated on Earth are very attracted to gemstones and crystals. They also have a very strong connection to symbols and sigils in general. Okay, so um, there are also some, you know, dysfunctional relationships uh, with Arcturians, but I'm not going to discuss that anymore. Those are uh, all, all of those are the traits and characteristics of what I've said. Okay, so um, if you are kind of like lost, like of course, there will always be that time in our lives when we don't know what will come, right? So we can we can never tell, like, um, like I keep telling you, my life has been uh. Even though, like, we have free will, I know that we have free will, but at some point, and, you know, things like, there are actually a lot of things that we can control here. So, might as well, um, like, go with the flow and recognize how to uh, uh, take control of it somehow. So personally, uh, like I told you, sometimes I'm here and the next thing I know, I'm in a different location, which is hard to believe because before it's pandemic and it's so impossible to come back here in this place, but I'm already here now and I've been, I I've told you that like a few months ago. So uh, that's it guys for the topic today. So um I think I'm gonna extend something on my personal life, okay? Because, you know, I keep on tracking things. So, I think um, yesterday, even though I wanted to, like, to go out, to have, to run again. So, I wasn't able to do that. I think, like, my body and my mind and even my soul is recuperating from all the extreme things. 
that has happened for the uh, for the whole year I think I'm um, still recuperating from a lot of things guys and uh, um, I just wanted to uh, thank you guys for keep on for you know uh, just being there you know watching I don't know looking <laughs> checking so uh, thank you guys for always uh, being here and I appreciate you all and for your support okay so that's it guys I, I'll have the second discussions in a bit mm, thank you for helping me make this world a better place for all of us and for the future generation okay so uh, always be safe and uh, see you later